We have weekend league rewards, but more importantly, EA Sports just dropped one of the craziest SBCs of the year, and your boy had to be there for that. But first, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Welcome back to the Road for Champions RTG Edition, where we open up weekend league rewards and we complete an insane SBC. Let's get into it. I need to make this all make sense to y'all. Now we're gonna start off with our rewards, which are eighteen and two, but they're only eighteen and two because Maldini came out, and I'm not making excuses. I'm being real with you. See, I went to bed on Friday night. Nine and one, right? I did take a loss early on, and it was a loss that I just should never took, in, but I did. And I went to bed nine and one, and I also want to tell you that I bought VVD because in that loss, when I lost to VVD, I was like, bro, I need VVD. So I bought VVD Friday night, and I'm like, VVD's a must. This guy gets too many auto blocks. I've been in need of a center back to go beside Blanc for a long time. And as much as I love Saliba, once I took that weekend league loss, I'm not going to lie to you, I kind of blame Saliba, but it was never his fault because he was amazing. So I went out and bought VVD, right? So now I got VVD and Blanc in my, not, in my starting 11, and I'm 9-1. I wake up Saturday morning, and here's Maldini. Maldini is now an SBC in FC 24. Now, for my RTG guys out there, I'm going to start at the end and then go back to the beginning. Right right here is the end. I'm showing you what had to be done once I got my weekend league rewards. That's why I spam because when I woke up, I started doing Maldini's SPC. And I got to like eight or nine done before, the, before I even played the weekend league or before I finished the weekend league. So now I'm just spam the games. I'm like, yo, if I get more than 16 wins, I'm going to be able to complete Maldini and I spam my games. Now I need you to know that in a minute, I'm going to show you everything I've turned in to get to this point that you're, this is like, we're going backwards and you're going to see player of the month, Mo Salah go. You're going to see SBC King center back go. You're going to see a lot go. Let me explain. When you run a RTG like I run, when you are a legit committed like RTG person, you don't get many opportunities to play with Icon Azebu, right? So when I got Azebu, it was just so much more fun playing this game. Azebu was amazing for me because he was a player that I loved IRL. Obviously, I'm a big Figa fan. And also, he's just incredible in this game. And also, he got us a lot of rank one finishes. So the moment I saw Maldini drop, a player that I watched growing up, a player that is some people say the best center back in football. If maybe some people say Sergio Ramos, whoever you want to pick. I had an opportunity to do a Zebu, but this time with the center back. And the one position that's been lacking on my team beside Blanc is a center back. We got a right back. We got a left back. We got our midfield. We got our attack. We're chilling. It's just another center back. If you've watched this series since we sold Rio, we haven't been happy at the center back position. And although I love Saliba... When I took that loss on Saliba, I was like, hey, maybe it's Saliba's fault. And I ended up buying VVD, playing with VVD, enjoying VVD. But at the same time, I still was never committed to VVD. Why? Even though VVD is probably the best center back in this game, I stink with him. I really, really stink with him. I have never ranked one with VVD. When VVD's not on my team, it's easy rank ones. When I got Rio and Blanc, it was easy rank ones since i sold rio i have not ranked one yeah maybe i'm a rio merchant since i sold rio i have not ranked one this is gonna be our third 18 and two in a row that's crazy we were rank one in every single weekend we ranked one that i think the first weekend the patch came out and since the patch we've only ranked one once I personally haven't got along with the patch, if I'm being honest with you. Rank 2 is still amazing. 18 and 2 is still really good. The games I'm losing are really easy games. I'm just messing up myself. But the most important thing is when you use VVD at center back, you got to make sure you don't touch VVD. You got to let v you gotta let the AI VVD go crazy. And I, I don't defend like that, bro. I switch into him too much, and it's making me defend very, very poorly, okay? So... I go to bed, I'm 9 and 1, I bring in VVD, I'm excited I got VVD, I wake up to Maldini being out. I start completing Maldini. I see there's an opportunity for us to get Maldini, I just have to spam my games. So I spam through the weekend league, I never finish on Saturday night, but I had to spam through it. And I lost one game on Saturday, a game I could have won, I choked it, it's on me, L for me, take my L, walk away. One thing I need you to understand, and I'm going to have gameplay in the next episode of my weekend league, lads, I give up, I'm not even lying bro. The game for me to go 18 and two, I beat the person nine to seven. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I gave up seven goals in one weekend league game. That is not acceptable. That is not acceptable in any way, shape or form, blood. Like that's bad. And I gave up seven goals. Okay, I banged in nine, 
but I gave up seven goals and that's with VVD and Blanc. So now even more in my head, I'm like, yo, I need this Maldini. This Maldini is what I need in my life. And all I can do is hope and pray that this guy's as good as Rio. And all I can do is hope and pray that this guy's gonna carry us. But I need Maldini and I need him now. I'm sick of suffering this many goals. So I ran through my weekend league and finally got Maldini finished. Now here's the deal. After my weekend league, it still wasn't enough. I am still gonna have to waste 200 and something thousand coins on completing this. And then another 100K is I, I, I saved and is going into an Evo. I'm going to Evo a card that I really, really want to bring into the RTG. But I want you guys to understand that I started this episode pretty much with 400,000 coins. All right. And by the time I'm done with this Evo and by the time I went to Evo and by the time I'm done with Baldini, I'm going to be down to like 40,000 coins or maybe even 20,000 coins. We are going to be in the mud when it comes to coins. But at the end of the day, I don't care. Why? We got Maldini. Why? Because we got a Zebu. Why? Because we have an insane team that I personally think is just remarkable for an RTG. To have Maldini beside Blanc. Now, let's talk about it. Everyone, a lot of y'all, not everyone, but a lot of y'all are saving your packs for team of the year. I'm not going to be able to do that. I turned all my objectives, the 83 by 20s, the 83 by 10s, all of those packs that you get from objectives. I've been opening them and I sent them all into Maldini. Every single player, every single pack, every single card that came out of those objectives went into Maldini. All of my rewards for the last two weeks into Maldini. Player of the month, Salah, into Maldini. King, into Maldini. When I tell you I gave my entire club, even this Wahi right here, I am going to take him and turn him into Maldini. So now we're going to go backwards. All right, what you just watched was me finishing. Right now, you're, you're caught up. We're going to go back to Saturday morning, all right? Saturday morning, I complete Wahi. This is actually Friday night when I complete Wahi. I complete Wahi. I also open up a few of my objective packs, and that's how we start getting more fodder. As you guys can see, I have 417,000 coins. All of those coins are going into Maldini, pretty much, except for 100,000 for an Evo. And then the rest is from objective packs where we just everything bros went into it and again do i regret the decision i have not played with maldini yet i'm gonna tell you that right now i have not played with him i've played with him other versions of this card i've never played with this version of this card i don't believe and um but what i do know is it's a decision that had to be made when blanc came out i had made that decision it had to be done when azebu came out i made a decision that had to be done and with this blanc I mean, with this Maldini, I didn't care if it was player of the Mansala. I didn't care if it was King. I didn't care if it was Icon Etho. I didn't care if it was Icon King Kenny. I did not care. I knew that Maldini and Azebu and Blanc were going to be on this team going forward. And I knew my decision was even more locked in when I allowed one of my opponents to drop seven goals on me. And by the way, that's not the only game, lads. The game I lost within the first 15 minutes, I was down 3-0. Then I came back and tied them 3-3 and end up losing like 5-4. Like, I cannot be suffering this many goals. Every single game I played, I gave up four or five goals. I don't understand, but I cannot defend on this patch because on this patch, lads, you have to not touch your defense. And all I keep doing is touching my defense. The first coins we're going to waste is going to be on Harry Kane. As you guys see, Zanetti, 90 rated icon, going in. I'm telling you guys, man, nobody is safe. Zanetti went into the Maldini SBC. I threw everything into this, bro. I'm not lying to y'all. I had a couple Ruben Diaz's, uh, untradeable. I got real lucky. Got another Ruben Diaz there. That was W. Then we're going to go ahead and buy another Harry Kane at 58,000 coins. I don't know if I should have been buying him, but I felt like I, he was the one to buy. As you guys can see, Musiala, Rabiot, uh, um, my boy Adama, Wadama. When I tell you, bro, that everything went into Maldini, I mean everything went into Maldini. My 400,000 coins and every single card that you can think of that's been on this account. Now, I got really lucky when I was opening up the packs. I would hit players like Martinez, and I always also hit, I hit that Arsenal girl. The, the right wing Arsenal girl. I hit her a few times, man, which was very, very nice. But this is going to be another objective pack that you're going to watch right here. And as you guys can see, oh, wait, I hit the center mid a few times. So, no, 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 no. I hit the right wing a few times. I got lucky here. Get another 88 rated card, which was lovely. But that is one of the objectives. I believe this is the 83 time. I forget which one this is, actually. Um, I, I think that was the 83 times 20 or 10 or whatever it is. I'm not sure. Anyways, we continue to move continue to sending everything we're not even to the fun part yet trust me the fun part's coming when i turn in solid now i need you guys to understand something because i know a lot of people are gonna get mad at me bro I, I, i'm ready for the comments bro i'm ready to read the comments and y'all roast me 
King and Salah are going in. Lads, Salah doesn't play for me. And I've got to the point with this FIFA, aka this FC, that I'm not doing that holding on to cards on this road to glory. For what? It's setting us back. Me holding a 91 rated Mo Salah, and he's not even coming off the bench when I can get a Maldini completed that can help me not suffer so many damn goals. He's got to go. King hasn't played for us for about a month or two, a month and a half, probably longer, right? We brought in Rio. King never touched the field again. What is he still doing here? This is not a collecting account. This is us getting to the best team possible, the best starting 11 possible. It's not about us collecting coins or collecting cards or collecting coins. It's about us getting to the best starting 11 possible and getting back to those rank one finishes because we haven't hit rank one for two weeks now, maybe three weeks in a row. That's not acceptable. So we got to get back to that. We got to get back to cooking. And not only that, we got to get back to our team looking great. And our team is about to look phenomenal. Trust me when I say that. I'm going to do a couple more, uh, pick up a couple more cards here, get another one complete. And I got to be honest with y'all lads. Like I know y'all are going to laugh at me, but I am proud of myself. And I'm going to tell you why I'm proud of myself. Please don't laugh at me when I say this. But the fact that I was able to complete Maldini and Zidane, uh, I mean, Azebu and Maldini on my RTG just makes me very happy. It just makes me very, very happy. Now, look, I might turn around in a couple days and regret this because Maldini's stinky. I don't think he's going to be stinky, but I am just extremely happy. And, and Azebu took me a week to do. Maldini, right off the bat, the facts that we held fought or the fact that we didn't, like, you know, fall for hero packs and fall for icon packs, the fact that we didn't fall for that stuff lately really, really makes me happy because now I have an Azebu in my club and now I have a Maldini in my club. And that could not make me happier, bro. Like, I just feel like we are in a solid, solid place. Wait till you see the starting 11, lads, because we about to get there in just one second. We moved out to this last SBC here and, it Mal and Maldini is officially complete, lads. It is officially done, man. We officially have Paulo Mal Maldini on the RTG, we officially have the Portuguese, the Portuguese Ray, my boy Azebu, on uh, the RTG. We have Eto still. I think I turned King Kenny in. I'm pretty sure I turned in King Kenny, so I don't have him no more. But I do have I do have Eto. He stayed. Um, but yeah, everybody else is pretty much gone, man. So the RTG is pretty much fully untradeable now. The only card that I have that I can still sell is VVD. But I haven't sold VVD yet because I'm thinking to myself, should I run VVD and Maldini? Or should I run Blanc and uh, Maldini? What should I do here? Because Blanc's been amazing for me. So I don't really see the point of getting rid of him. Um, but this is now officially our starting 11. So as y'all can see, we still have Eto. We still have John Anariza. Oh, and I saved King Kenny. King Kenny got lucky. I was actually going to turn King Kenny in, but then I realized that 89 rated cards are like 33,000 uh, like 33, coins. So I ended up keeping King Kenny, but he was going to go. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Um, this is now officially my team, lads. We got Trezeguet. We got my boy. Uh, we got Aitana. We got my boy Sterling. We got Smith. We got Azebu. We got Neymar. Um, on the bench, we still have Saliba and Modric and Bacha. Um, but that's really it, bro. We cleaned the club of everything else. We pretty much just kept the cards that we use, the cards that we sub in, and the cards that we enjoy, and we got rid of everything else. So, lads, this is officially our team. Hopefully, I'm not going to be suffering seven, eight goals a game. Um, but I'm very, 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 very proud of what we've accomplished on this RTG, man. That's why I always tell you guys, man, don't spend money. Do not spend money. You guys can achieve it. You guys can get to it. You just got to really grind the game. Now, I do want to talk to you all about a few different things really quickly before I end this episode. Here. Um, this patch is really getting on my nerves. Um, 442 and 4321 and 4222 have been my best bet. But defensively, offensively, I'm cooking. The problem is that the auto blocks are insane. I don't know if any of you guys uh, or, or, or the OG viewers still watching that you guys are having the same issue I'm having. I am trying to find a way around these auto blocks because I swear to you, every time I match VVD, I should put up like 10 goals. But somehow this guy blocks seven of them. So I only put up three goals. So it's really, really annoying. But I'm trying to find a formation that breaks these auto blocks easily. I'm trying to find a formation that cooks auto blocks, cooks defenses. Um... I, a 4 3 2 1 is the, mo the most like you could turn your brain off and it plays for you. So if you're looking for that, run 4 3 2 1. Um, 4 4 2 is still a really, really good option, but it's very, very hard, lads. And I'm telling y'all right now, man, I'm suffering a lot of goals because I'm turning into my back line. The way EA patched the game now, you don't have to switch into your back line. You need to run back with your midfielders to defend. And I need to get used to that because I'm a manual defender. I need to go to auto defending and stop switching into defenders. But that's why I brought Maldini in because your boy is ready to cook and stop getting cooked. Lads, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you're 
enjoyed it, smash that big old thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on. I got a crazy Evo in tomorrow's episode. I just have to finish completing him. And then bang, we're going to have a sick player. Hey, thank you all for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Boya, we out of here.